everybody, it's me, JC, back with another Ceramic Hour live stream. Um, I quickly drew out a little template for a cat face. Um, so let's cut that out, and I think we'll make some like cat face trinket dishes. I think that'd be super cute. Um, I've been meaning to do this for a while, and I just like quickly did this. I don't know if it's really symmetrical <laughs> but um I think we'll just kind of like cut it out and then see what it looks like on the slab <clears throat> okay um, let me see I hate cutting out um cardboard but it is really nice for these like templates. So I am, um, I'm trying to dry those pictures that we've been working on. One of them, um, the more curvy one, um, it's cracking by the, no, it's actually, it is the handle. <laughs> the handle is like cracking off of the, um, like the joint area. <sighs> um... It's like, mm, I don't know, it's like around halfway to bone dry. Um, I've seen someone online just like take a piece of like something that was like, I don't know what it was, some kind of like bone dry piece and dry it or not dry it. Um, they like added moisture back to it, back to like leather hard. Um, so I'm just curious to see, um, like how hard that is, how easy it is, I don't know. Um, I'm just curious really to see like how that would go. Um, so I'm thinking I could like, if I could get that to work, I could try, like the handle is like kind of like cracking because it's like coming off the piece. So I could try to like do like a reattachment or I could just like, cut it off completely and like try to put something like a, a different handle on it and just like see where that goes. I'm just like really curious to, um, I don't know, try that out and see how it goes. So I think that's what I'm going to do with that picture. Let me see. Actually, it's a little bit easier to see. All the lines are really distracting. <laughs> this should be like, there should be like a little bit more cardboard here, maybe. Okay, it's not too bad. Maybe if I'm careful, we can cut out, um, cut out like a pretty symmetrical shape. Um, um, oh wait, the clay that I have here, this is porcelain, so I'm gonna just not use this and put it somewhere else. Um, I don't know. So let me get some clay out of here, out of my bag, and then we'll like roll it out and, um, yeah, make some cat dishes. Still, I still have not, like, I literally have not even, like, 
thought about like how I want to approach like a dog trinket dish yet but um it's kind of like um something I am considering I haven't actively thought about it okay let me just there's some like dry clay on here so let me just kind of <laughs> scrape off the top layer here maybe and just try to get rid of that I don't know if there's any issue with using that like the little t tiny dry, dry bits but I don't know I'm just gonna um try to scoop them off here Almost done here. All right. Um, all right, so I don't know how many we can get done, but I don't know. Let's, let's just aim to roll out two right now and just see how far we get. Maybe we'll do, maybe we'll be able to fit in four. I'm not sure. Okay. And I'm just gonna like lay the clay out so I can kind of like, kind of vaguely see like how much I'm getting. Um, I typically get like, like if I'm not like doing this, I will get like way too much or not enough. So <laughs> this kind of helps me like see like how much I'm grabbing. Let me move this. like around there but I don't know let's just grab some, some more just to be sure I'd hate to like wedge this up and then roll it out and then be like oh we don't have enough <laughs> I hate that so we're just gonna do a good chunk here um Okay, I think that, I don't know. I think that should be good. It's definitely gonna do one, so. Okay. <clears throat> okay, let me just like take a second and wipe down my table it's like a bunch of clay drag clay bits and I don't know just a mess here all right all right now let me just like smoosh this all together Do, 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 do. Mm, today, today is Tuesday. Um, don't really have much for updates. Um, if you haven't seen, we had a shop update. 
Is that like last week? No, I don't. I think it was the week before that. We had the shop update. Um, that has a bunch of underglazed pieces in it for the most part being added to the shop, like the uh, cowboy boots we've been working on. Um, there's like a little strawberry dish, like tiny like plate dish. There's a strawberry jam container. Um, what else? <laughs> Um, so, uh, two, we have two toaster pastries. Um, what else? Oh, um, there was a bunny, but that one has been sold. Um, I sold one of the cowboy boots, but we've got three still in the shop. Um, so like all of those like underglaze items that we've been working on that I did um like a bit ago we did a like kiln reveal for those those are all in the shop and uh if you're watching on twitch there's a link in the uh the home page or whatever for the channel or uh for those that will be watching us on youtube later <clears throat> there's a link in the description for the shop I closed my personal shop and in now like selling only on um, Etsy and the new website that Michaels has called Maker Place. If you want to check those out, um, wherever you find those shop links, it just goes to my link tree and you can check out my Instagram if you want to, just to, if you want to see those pieces. Um, since then we did do another kiln reveal, but I'm still working on uh, editing those photos and making listings for them. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. I think I'm. I don't. <laughs> I don't have like a set day when I think that'll be done, but. Um, I'm kind of like thinking maybe this weekend or something. Um, but I'll keep you guys posted. I've been mostly trying to spend a lot of time to make sure that I have enough stuff for bisque firing because I'm trying to make my mom some like Mother's Day gifts for when she visits. So I'm trying really hard to get like all this stuff done um, so that I can like fire a full batch. Um, but I think I pretty much um, I think I have a good amount. It just needs to actually like get to bone dry before I take it um and definitely one of the pieces I'm waiting for is the picture that I made for her um and that one's still drying but I'm hoping to bring some pieces to the studio pretty soon Just a little bit more, I think it'll be good. Okay, I think it's good. I haven't seen any air bubbles in it. I just kind of want to get into like a um like a sphere like a oval or something what would you call like is there a word for that where it's like a 3d oval i don't know 
<laughs> there has to be a word for that. They have all kinds of weird words for like everything. Pretty good. Actually, let me move the camera a little bit. It's like kind of in my way. <laughs> oh yeah, maybe we should like roll this into like a, like an oval shape, maybe. Yeah, I think that would be like best. And then um, I have the tiny bumpers on here. I don't know what those are called. They call them bumpers though. Um, but we're going to use three paint palettes um, on both sides to lift it up because uh, these are too small and I don't feel like putting the other ones on there. <laughs> And now what we want to do is uh, we're going to take our rib and compress the clay. Mm. Wow, I really need <laughs> some more like space on my table. Okay. Um, okay, I just have a in there this is super important um so you definitely don't want to skip this step sometimes i forget but it's really important to compress your clay um it's kind of like um it has to do with like aligning the clay particles and stuff um because uh, your clay particles are not the same size. They're different size particles uh, floating around in there. And when you compress them, um, you're kind of smooshing the smaller particles in kind of like, um, sort of like, I don't know. I don't want to say it's like empty. I don't know. You're just kind of like smooshing them together to fit better and if they're compressed well it's not going to crack um so we definitely want to avoid any cracking okay and yeah you want to do this in like different directions on both sides he on this side you can see like it has like all of these like very superficial cracks and this kind of tells me like it's a good indicator on like how many passes I should do. Definitely just getting rid of um, all of these and smoothing them out. And then maybe a little bit more than that seems to be good. I've never had any problems with any of my like trinket dishes that I've made. Like any of my like slab plates that I've done I've never had any issues with them cracking um so it's a really like 
Um, I think it's like a really easy way to get like something really like fun like out of your work that is not like too complicated. Um, and it has like, <laughs> I don't know, I feel like I'm like trying to sell you on this. <laughs> it has a very high success rate. <laughs> Um, I mean, not that I, like, this is just, like, from me doing it, um, not that I, like, teach classes or anything. I don't do that. Um, um, okay, so let me just grab a, where is my, here we go. Just my little um, knitting needle. I'm gonna like very lightly draw out where this is. Um, I'm. I feel pretty good about being able to fit two on here. we do this oh my gosh <laughs> this is really tight I think we can just barely do it um generally I'd like to avoid um the very edge of this just because it's like not as compressed and it's very like wonky I'm just kind of like rotate this and see I think that's gonna be good I think it'll be fine Okay, I think if this is the side that I need to add to. My template has flipped, <laughs> so we're kind of like, I'm looking at backwards from, uh, where I was looking at earlier. Okay, let me just kind of, um, just like take a look. <laughs> like, it's kind of hard to hold up. Okay. All right. Now I'm just gonna take my feddling knife and cut out what we've traced here. Oh, if you haven't watched my videos before, um, this is just like, I don't know. It's just how I like to uh, do my trinket dishes. Um, you could do it like all kinds of different ways. Um, but what we're going to be doing is we purposefully um, cut out a very, like a pretty thick slab here. And we're going to cut down into it to create that like well area and create the walls. You don't have to do that. You could do like 
a lot of different things. <laughs> um, like you could just roll out a very thin slab and then make coils and attach those as the walls um, if you want. I really, I don't, I don't know. I'm just not so good at <laughs> attachments. Uh, like I mentioned about our pitcher having some attachment issues. So I'm just trying to like avoid doing that, you know, but if, uh, if you don't have those issues or you really want to save like some time, you could, um, you could do this like any way that you want to do it. Um, this is just like how I like to make my trinket dishes. It's just kind of like, I don't know, like my go-to. Um, so I'm just gonna like smush this up before it gets too dry. And I'm going to like add a little bit of water in between the layers. <sighs> Cause the clay is like a bit more dry than it was like before we wedged it and rolled it out. <clears throat> um, I think, I don't know. I think I'll just set this off to the side. Um, yeah, so here is our little cat. Um, it's looking a little wonky now that I'm trying to like look at the ears. <laughs> Hmm. Mm hmm. I don't know. Um, typically what you would do is like cut this out and then like dry it to like leather hard and then start working on it. But uh, for the sake of time, I don't always do that. Um... Hmm. Oh, we have like a half an hour left. How about, uh, because like I kind of want to, I don't know, maybe like, I kind of feel like I need to like cut it over here. I feel like this ear is too tall. Um, so I'm thinking about like maybe doing some kind of trimming. So how about, we get some more clay, roll out some more. So we have like, so we'll have like four little cat faces. Um, Cause like, I don't know. I don't want to be like too precious with them. Cause if I only have like two um, to decorate later, I'm going to be, I'm going to try to be like way too precious with them and be like, what's the ultimate cat face design? <laughs> I don't know what the hell. <laughs> um, but it's going to help that I have, like, multiple to do. And then, um, I don't know. I just, th I feel like they're really cute. They're going to be really cute. Just, like, the bunny dishes. And I feel like people will like them. So, we're just going to, not that I've ever made these before, but we're just going to go for it and hope people like them. Um... Okay. Let me just get some of the, um, there are like some shavings, like dry clay shavings on here. Let's kind of like see how dry some of these are. I know, I literally just got this out, but as soon as I closed it, any dry clay on the sides of it, just fell down on the top of it. <laughs> um, I feel like this is pretty fine. It's pretty okay. I've got like a little crevice here. I, I just don't want like any like hard lumps just in the middle of what we wedge up. Um, okay. Let me just kind of flatten this to see how much we have. Like a 
general idea of how much. I can't believe it's only Tuesday. I don't know, work has been really slow. And I don't know, <laughs> it's just, it's just one of those days. I just feel like it's Thursday or something. <laughs> I just feel like it's Thursday or Friday for no reason at all. <laughs> mm. If you guys didn't know, I work full-time as a graphic designer so um yeah that's what I do when I'm not on the twitch <laughs> um I'm still waiting to hear back about our design competition I submitted an entry and they're still like reviewing them and stuff so I'm I don't know I'm really looking forward to seeing um how mine does but I'm also really curious to see like what my coworkers made too um I love seeing what my coworkers make but I don't um I don't really have like, there aren't very many, like, opportunities where I actually see, like, new designs that they make. Let me see. So I think it would be fun to see the stuff. If I win anything, I'm going to get some money. <laughs> um... Which is always great. Um, I'm not sure, but they said they've been. Well, I've heard them talking about it. Um, they said that they're gonna be like I don't know, considering making like. I don't know, like the winning design or something. Or I don't know, maybe first and second place. I don't know. Something. Maybe. Um, putting that as a design like live on our website, which would be really fun. They did do that a long time ago. That was, that was a long time ago. A couple years ago. That they did that with one of the um, I think it was like first and second, maybe, or maybe it was only first. I don't know. Um, but since then, they haven't done that with the competition. Um, so I don't know. I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of curious to see where that goes. Um, I'm so excited that summer is coming, despite the fact that we are like in the fifth month of the year can you believe it fifth month we're almost halfway through the year like what okay i think this might be good i think this will be enough um i don't know i have this weird i have this weird idea just kind of like in my head that like <laughs> summer is like the start of the year. I don't know why. It's probably like a school thing. Because like because the end of spring is like when the school year is like over. But, I don't know, I just kind of have this weird, like, <laughs> concept <laughs> of, like, <laughs> when the year starts in my mind. Um, I don't know. I don't know why. I just have this, like, 
I have this weird idea that I am really productive in the summer. Um, I'm not really sure why. I mean, I do think sometimes I don't work as hard um, in the winter because like the winter you're like, I don't know, like winter, fall, whatever, you're like buying holiday gifts, you're traveling for the holidays, you're sick, and like, I don't know, I think that's like, I don't know, I, I kind of feel like that's it. Um, you know, like, you can't actually work on any art because you're trying to do all these other things. Um, but I have this kind of like weird idea that I'm like, more productive in the summer which is I don't know if that's really true because like in the summer I'm a lot more likely to like go out <laughs> like leave the house <laughs> um and like actually do things um but I don't know I'm like I don't know I just like can't believe that we're like halfway through the year and I'm like I wanna like I really want to make a bunch of things that are really cool that I can add to my shop that are like really different and like um kind of like show them in my shop for like next um like next um I don't know. It would be kind of like the end of the winter um, for like the that market that I want to apply for. And I just feel like I'm like, holy cow, we're halfway through the year. And I mean, I do have like a lot of things I've added to the shop that are really cool. Um, but I'm still like looking at my shop like I don't feel like I have like a ton, a ton like, I don't know, like, I'm not really sure, like, how it would stand up in a market, <laughs> like, with just my ceramic pieces, now that I've kind of, like, um, I'm trying to, like, focus the business on ceramics, so, like, if I did do a market, I wouldn't want to take the other stuff, even though I do have other things, um, if that makes sense, like, <sighs> Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I guess I kind of just have to, like, really take a look at, like, what I have. Because I really do want to try to do some kind of, like, markets, like, this summer. Um, but at the same time, I don't really know, like, which ones I would go to, to do. And... It is always better to check it out before you sign up for it. I don't know. I just feel like I need to, like, kick some butt. <laughs> like, making, like, a bunch more new things. But, like, I haven't really... I haven't really stopped that much been making things like I feel like doing the live stream has like kept me like on a roll with like consistently having things in progress um yeah I don't know okay so I'm gonna have to wedge this real quick I think this is probably like way too much clay <laughs> That's not bad. If we're just gonna like cut out some more faces.
think maybe, I don't know, maybe a few more times. so tired <laughs> I'm like I need a second coffee but also doing this in addition to that I'm just like <laughs> I was just like wiped out I could go take like a two hour nap right now <laughs> See, uh, I need to get some like that dry clay off my hand and then just kind of smush this a bit. I don't know if this makes any difference, but it makes me feel better um, if I do this before rolling it out because if you just take like that giant ball of clay and like roll it out it kind of like I don't know it like overlaps itself in a weird way and I don't know if that's problematic or not okay let me get these out I think I should move these somewhere I want to like fill that area it's like I don't know kind of like push some that way Now we're gonna compress it. Sorry, this is like not at all exciting. <laughs> but it's, it needs to be done. We gotta do this if we want to, <laughs> if we wanna make cat dishes. Um, I don't know, you know, I'm mean, like thinking about it. I'm like, is there anything we could do on the stream that would even be like exciting? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not really sure because it's like, okay, either we're rolling something out, we're trimming, 
We're like putting underglaze on. Um, just putting like glaze on. I don't know. I mean, none of it's all that exciting, really. <clears throat> I don't know. But I don't know. People are watching the videos, so. Um, I hope you guys like the videos. <laughs> um, I do think, um, I mean, I really don't have specific plans for, like, what we're going to be doing on the stream, like, upcoming. Um, but I do think it would be fun to, um, I don't know, like, try out... Um, making some different things. I do think people, at least kind of like from the view count that I get on like YouTube, it seems like people like checking out um, more of the videos that, I don't know, like we're working on like a new project, like starting it out. Um, like when we did that wall shelf, um, if you didn't hear, the wall shelf is cracking in three places right now. <laughs> it's like, it's like, uh, it's bone dry right now. So I don't feel good about it. Um, I mean, if I really wanted to... I could try to make it work with like some bisque fix, but I don't know. I think I might just scrap it. It doesn't seem like um, if it's cracking when it's getting to bone dry, it doesn't seem like it's going to make it to being glazed. Um, so just from like the few things that I've kind of like done that with to like kind of test out what the bisque fix will do um I mean I told I don't know I'm not sure maybe I will just go and do it anyway <laughs> I mean it was something that I'm planning on just like keeping for myself um you know if I was like if I was gonna put in the shop to be sold I would want it to be like you know, like, really good, like, um, not so flawed, <laughs> um, um, but I don't know, I know, I just, I just put it on the shelf, and maybe I'll think about it, I just don't have the heart to scrap it just yet, <laughs> because I spent so much time on it. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, I don't, I'm, I'm not sure. I literally don't know if I'm going to scrap it or not. I, that's what I was thinking of, but now I'm kind of like, I don't know. I kind of want to keep it maybe. It's really cute. It's really cute. Um, But it is like, it's really disheartening when you get stuff back from being glaze fired and it's like, broken and like cracked or like it dripped down to like the shelf or like the cookie or whatever it's really disheartening and it makes me sad <laughs> um so I don't know I, just, I think I'll just think about it maybe sit on it for a little bit
Okay, perfect. Cool. Well, we have four cats. Now, let me just like, let me just like smush this clay together real quick. Kind of want to like roll it into like a like a uniform shape. Um, so that it um it won't like dry out more in certain areas. Um let me see. I'm just going to put it in here. I think I'm going to put it in with the cats. Let's put that in there. I'm going to put the cats in here too. Um, where is my... Where is that tiny, tiny tool that I have? over here before I like completely forget about them. <sighs> oh my gosh, I seriously need like another coffee. Um, okay. I don't know, I'm pretty sure I added clay here, but now I'm like, How should this go? I feel like the right ear is too tall. And then... Quite look right. I don't know. Maybe like that or something. <sighs> um. Okay, we've got four minutes. Um. I don't know, I usually trace out like where, um, like a little safe area for when I'm trimming. Um, I'm just going to like, I don't know, <laughs> kind of avoid that spot. <laughs> and then the back side, I like to leave some extra because I like to curve the, um, let me just do this. I like to curve the like side of the wall inward. So we're going to actually trim more like into this spot. So then if we trim like that much, then the foot would be like this wide. <clears throat> I 
And this is just like a very rough safe area. I don't know. Sometimes when I'm trimming, I just get really crazy. <laughs> And I need to like remind myself <laughs> to like, like trim the bulk of it in like this area and then with a finer tool, just kind of like fix it. Just like go from there once like the bulk of it has been trimmed out. If you're wondering, this is a knitting tool. Like, it's a knitting needle. Um, it's not as long as a normal knitting needle because it is, it unscrews and, like, like right now it's unscrewed. And it um, can connect to a wire to, basically, you have, like, your two knitting needles. And then the wire attaches to the bottom of them. And then you can, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really do much with knitting, but um, it can either like definitely extend like the length of your uh, knitting needle. Um, if you want that, does that make sense? I don't know. But I think it's for like if you're knitting something round, but I don't really, I don't really know. Um, I think I just kind of liked it because it comes in this like full kit and you can get these in all like just tons of different gauges. Here's some other ones, but I find that these ones are maybe a bit too chunky. So like you can see the tips are different sizes and I use them for like drawing, like very light drawings onto the clay like this I don't know I just feel like it's kind of it's kind of nice whereas like using like the felling tool it's very sharp I mean that one's like a knife or there's like um I'm blanking out just like a needle tool is very sharp but if you want like something dull I like to use like knitting needles okay let's wrap these up because we're at the end of our stream. But I'm so excited to get like some cats done. Wouldn't that be so cute? And little cat dishes. I don't know if we'll do a full body cat. I kind of, I kind of just like the cat face as an idea, but I don't know. I don't know. Like, for the bunnies, I couldn't, like, I don't know. I couldn't really, like, decide if I wanted to do, like, just the face or just the body. Because with the body, you can do, like, more, like, patterns than on the face. I mean, I, I don't know. <laughs> I guess it would be the same with cats, but I'm, like, I'm a lot more, like, into the idea of, like, actual like real life representation of um bunny coat patterns I, I really don't know that much about cats <laughs> I have a cat and I've always had a cat but I don't actually know like a ton about cat breeds <laughs> um anyway so we're gonna leave it there um, thank you so much for watching. Um, I really appreciate anybody that either like jumps in and watches the stream live or uh, watches the videos later. I mean, both are really great. And I'm so, um, I'm really thankful to have you guys here, like watching videos whenever you can. Um, and yeah, well, uh, if you are new, be sure to follow along on Twitch. Um, all the videos are uploaded to YouTube at Callie and Co. There I have a whole uh, live stream playlist. Um, and then the YouTube also has some other videos too. I have a few ceramic tutorials. I'm still working on making more ceramic videos there. 
And then some other videos include um, like my book tour um, and then like, I don't know, some other random things. Uh, some topics are like small handmade business or um, just like for any artist. Um, so yeah, um, follow along on Twitch, subscribe to the YouTube, give the video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, bye.